What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Kicking with Kachi, where we highlight individuals that are really taking their industry by storm. And today, we have a upcoming New York legend. You know I'm from the Bronx. I got to swing it right down to Harlem to my boy, Nikki Westside. Thank you for coming into the building. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to the building. Kicking with me, brother. Oh, no question. So, obviously, coming from Harlem, you know, real spitters, real lyricism. Is is that really, as you coming into the game right now making music, Is this? do you think that there's still a, a space for the bar-for-bar bar action that we see in music? Because I see a lot of melodic stuff going on, a lot yeah. of dance stuff going on. Is lyricism dying, or you think there's still a niche for it in the rap game? Um, lyricists definitely coming back. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that stand on that side with the lyricists. People. Right, right, right. So we got the Griselda's, you know, we got the right coming in, but that's what I stand on right there. So I'm gonna bring it back anyway myself. You know, what I was gonna say like, what what sort of musical influences do you bump to listen to that you keep you in, you know, the flow of what you're doing in your game? Grew up on um, Jada Kiss is like my favorite rapper. You know, I, you oh, know, okay, all right, right, I mean, right. You know, right. All day, you know what I mean? <laughs> all day long. But um, Nas, Nas, Jay Z, Kooli rap. I'm more of the, the the back in the days. You know, I grew up in the '90s, so I had a little right, push right, right. But um, I rock with a couple artists now, but you know what I mean? It's Meek Mills, Drake is cool. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. More of a spitter, like you know what I mean. And in making music now, do you feel like your style has changed, altered just a little bit to kind of fit a little bit what a, what the what the trend is going towards? Oh, definitely, because you gotta you gotta change with the wind. You know what I mean? You can't right, right. Kind of like that two thousand and three shit. You don't want to do that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I changed with it. You know what I mean? I got a little different, a little bit listen to a little little different beats. Rhyme a little different now. Voice change a little bit, but uh, right, so right, right. And I was saying coming back into the music that you was making before, like you know, 2020, 2021, like, what was that like, you know, making that music, and how would you kind of compare that to the music to make it now? Um, it's really, it's, it's not really the, it's not really that different, I wouldn't say that different, it's just maybe like the beat selection might be a little different. Right, right, right. You know, I think a lot of rappers now really like ride to the beat, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm still an artist that to write acapella, and I write my shit acapella, and then I can Right, right. You know what I mean? So I'd rather sit down and write a song without no beat, and then I'll put it to the beat. You feel me? So right, right. It's still really the same, though. I, I talk to the streets, the hustlers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Harlem shit, pay the for shit. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. And that's what I was saying. And, like, coming to now the New York scene, right? Like, New York in music is, is like, bread and butter. You know, bacon, bread egg, and, and cheese type shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Is is stay in New York? How has that sort of influenced your creativity? Right, being around all these different creatives, seeing the wave that's coming out of New York City right now, seeing these young guys. Right, obviously, you. I don't know if you got kids, but I work with kids, and seeing these guys kind of be the face of what's going on in hip hop and rap right now. You know, being that we're in the fiftieth year, so what's it like for you just now being in the mecca of hip hop as it is right now for your creativity? Yeah, um, it's 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 really a lot of creativity for real, and then you know I got a lot of my day ones always giving me new ideas and shit. You know what I mean? Right, right. I got a lot of drill, drill young homies, so you know they be yeah, know, right, they, right, right, right. They be everywhere with it, so I be trying to tell them like, yo, you know, try to do something different, but they ain't, they ain't, they ain't really trying to. Yeah, hear it. You know, you know so it, it's just like when we was growing up. You know, our music, <laughs> our parents was like, yo, you gotta chill, but it's the way. <laughs> It's like a gift and a curse too, though. Like being in New right. York with the music, but it's hard though because you might have a hundred haters and one person might like you, and you got to prove right. that one person, two people, and then twenty people, and then you be good. But you gonna start right. off with about a hundred people. Everybody gonna hate you before you gain them. You know how that goes, like. So it's like a different right, right. And then speaking with collaboration, obviously, overall management, right, Dominic Lord. We're getting into the business with the business with the heavy hitters, right? So how is that like, you know, experiencing feeling your creativity, your passion, your drive, and now joining the collective, joining the brand to really elevate your brand and elevate your sound? Oh yeah, that's a um but that's a blessing right there. So um, you know, me and my brother, you know, that's my brother. So uh we we about to turn this up, you know, we got the overworld going, you know, the old stuff. Right, world. right, of course. Got it tatted so it's right. So yeah, it's in the skin. So, you know, we bleeding it. So um mm -hmm. yeah. 
Let's know that, you know, I put him down. He said that he gonna manage me and do my thing. So we got into the business side. You know, our family is family, but we know how to Right, do. right, right. <laughs> business as business people. So he put me on a mind state as a business person. I know I'm your brother, but you still won't be right, like right, right. And so we about to turn it up. We got a lot of things going down. You know I mean, I'm about to bring a song out for Made in Harlem in my week on Spotify. So, you know what I'm saying? Good song. I mean, can't wait for you to hear it. And I was saying, coming from like independent artists and now, like you said, the business side getting into the mindset of business. First of all, yeah. love the idea of family getting into business. Yeah, ninety percent business in the rap game. So you know, right? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. You feel me? A lot of y'all, y'all people, me as an outside looking in. Listen, man, I feel like if you're from New York, you had dreams of being a rapper one time in your life. You know what I'm saying? I thought I can freestyle my way into a record deal. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. obviously, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's like more <laughs> right, right, right. But as you're saying, it's it's a lot more up here than it is down here, like a lot more business. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. what kind of things did you have to learn to navigate your own brand and get your own stuff going? One thing I got to learn is, is, uh, is like, you know how to stay patient. Sometimes you got to right. you know, wait, but sometimes you got to know when to take it, too. When to so, go, right, right. I had too much patience, and I was, mm. all, I was all feel like a record deal, but it came mm-hmm. so fast. It came like as soon as I came out of jail. But he told me he was going, I'm going to give you a record deal. So you know how I make it. Right. Song. Whatever. Right, so, right. He said, yo, I like that song. I want to give you a record deal for the song. Mm-hmm. Wow. It was like, a, uh, you want to sign this record deal or you got 10 of your peoples with you or do you want to wait to get a, a, a record label over a record deal? Right, 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 I right. Thought, I said, no. I said, I will wait for the team. You know, I don't mm-hmm. want to start. So I, you know, I, you know, declined it or whatever. But Things come at you so fast, you, know, you don't know. Right, exactly. But now, do I regret it? To tell you the truth, yeah, I should have probably took the deal because it's ten. It started. It was ten of us. Now it's only about three, four of us right now. Really, like strong. Right, guys. right, right. They, they gone. You know what I mean? Right. We got a whole branch now. You feel me? So I just thought, right. like, but that's too much patience. So I know how to. Right, you know, right. Because you don't get too many opportunities in life. So when you take, when you get the opportunity, you got to know when to take it. So you can't mm-hmm. get like. You know, I heard a real smart word the other day. I, I know you're going to like this. It was called analysis paralysis. You know, the idea, like, you think about things. Like you say, you think about things for too long, you're just stuck. Yeah, you get stuck. That's why they say you think long, you think wrong. You right. <laughs> right, right. You got to know when to, to take it, and you got to open your mouth and take your opportunity because you ain't going to just, you know what I mean? So, like, as you said, like, now we're going into the moving forwards, right, and talking about, What's next, right? Like, I, I, I've been, I've been, I'm a stalker, if you didn't know, when it comes to my job on this side of the interview, you know what I'm saying? And right. the last song that I've seen is 2021. Like, when am I going to get the next track? Right, right, right. I'll be slipping. I'll be slipping. Because that's that thinking, thinking long too much. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so okay. Got, yeah, but I've been working, though. I got, like, like, like 50, 60 songs or whatever. I just, just got all my right. stuff. I like four mixtapes, tapes, so I'm definitely gonna bring something out. And um, yeah, definitely. Because with the global warming, it's gonna be cold, so I'm gonna need some salts. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my foot on the neck. I'm gonna keep my foot on the uh-huh. neck. Heard on that though, definitely coming out with some. You know, what I mean, I'm doing a lot of. I'm doing different music, but I'm gonna come out with my sound first, and then I'm gonna show y'all what I can really do because I got mm-hmm. different kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So right, right, right. And then like to close us out, you know, what I'm saying like. The, the stories and the narratives that I always bring them to this show, I always know I have it so that other people watching it that are going through their own stories and their own journeys can learn something from the people that are bringing on to the show. And I know that everyone has something they can teach another person. So what are three life lessons or three gems that you kind of carry through your life that you can, you know, bestow onto the next person, pass the torch along? Um, one thing I go by is, is uh, you might not get it when, when you think you're supposed to have it, right? You might, you might, it might take you, it might, you might, you might get, you might be 45 years old before you see your first house, your first hundred thousand. Right, right. You know what I mean? But you might be uh, damn near a hundred million when you get 60 and you flew past everybody. So don't, mm-hmm. don't like, never give up. My, my, I'm big on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't give up. You got to just keep going because as soon as you give up, it's a wrap. But some right. people don't start early. And some people start late, but it's going as long as you still start, you know what I mean? As long as you still get it started, you can do it. But I mean, that's my thing. Don't give up and just keep it going because 
I do shit till I get 50 till something happens, something go down. But it's just like I'm saying, don't don't give up. Just keep going. You gotta just keep going and get it, you know, for your all. Nah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for like coming yeah. by. Like I said, kicking with me and like bro, anytime. You know how we I got you. I'm gonna stay in contact with you all the time, bro. Of course. Brother. Now Appreciate I'm saying you. when I need when them 50, 60 songs drop, we go need to get another interview, my boy. Oh, yeah, we need to get to we need to get the ball rolling. Definitely. They're gonna hear about your boy Nikki Westside coming. Of course, and thank you for you guys for another amazing episode of Kicking with Kaju. Check out my boy. Nikki Westside on all streaming platforms out right now. Make sure you cop that new music when it drops. Follow him on Instagram at Nikki underscore Westside O W. You can check out this interview at the DC Voice on Instagram or YouTube. Tap me on Instagram at Kata the Analyst as well. Nikki Westside, any last words before we head out of here, my brother? Um, just you know, appreciate everybody, man. Watch out for that big overworld, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that you know love me, man. I still love y'all if y'all hate me, man. Shout out to you for having me here. You heard? Big Harlem. Of shit. course, of course. Yo, I'm saying two two New York legends. They're going to remember this interview. Of course, you know of course. that. That's a fact. Aha, aha. But yo, brother. we out of here. It's kicking it with Kachi, my brother. Thank you for kicking me once again. Thank you guys for the amazing episode. We're out of here. Peace. No doubt, brother. Peace out.